Okay guys, uh, I have a 24 pole magnet here, 36. I have two coils, one at 100 turns, half an inch thick, and another 150 turns, 5 eighths thick. The idea is to compare the 24 versus 36 and shapes versus magnets. So the first I'm going to try the 100 turn. What's it do? And both are will be spinning at 164 RPM. This one is making fourteen, uh, one point four. So this baby here is making one point four. At its best. Okay, what is this one making? Okay, 1.8, let's call it, at its best. So, um, this shape right here, when it's over one magnet, it's really, it's the legs are not touching the other side. But when it's both, when it's over both magnets, it's flush. One leg is over the other. Perfect. Okay, this one here is lacking some winding, but I put the winding, if I, if I add winding, I'll end up like this, and then I don't have room. Figure that one out later. And it's not as flush on top of both magnets, so it's losing some efficiency. On this one, it's a little too big, and this one is way too big. So let's see how it performs on the 30. Okay, how many? Come on, we want 160, 61, 62, 163, 64. Okay, 165, that's fine. Let's start testing because we're going to run out of time here. Okay, so this one did 1.4 on the 24. We should really expect it to do more on the 36, right? Well, it's a little bit better, so it spiked to 1.5. So 0.1 of a volt more. So really, it didn't do much better than the 24. So why would I go with 36 with this one? You know, it's not worth the putting the extra money into the magnets to produce the same or point of a half a volt extra. So so far, this shape goes with the 24 magnets um, combination. Well, what about this one? Let's see what this one do.
1.4 Let it speed up and then the So this baby did 1.4 with the 36. It did 1.4 at its best. So this shape, more wines, it did less than this, almost. Because this one was 1.45. This one did 1.4, so it did less than this one did. Although it has more wines. But that doesn't mean shit because of the uh, cancellation this is making. So the layout and orientation of the coils versus magnets is key. And I'm not, t I'm not saying that to the professionals out there. So I'm saying it to the ones that are starting up. So the pros can just correct me and make, make it even a better um, explanation. So the shape does it play a good big role so when they ask you to make sure the legs are lined up properly this is what they mean this these legs perfect on one layout or one orientation when it passes away again away from the magnets so this is the best combination and that's what you need to do I just have to figure out a way how to fit it Maybe I'm lousy on winding, so I might smack it around a little bit, and it might do the job. I hope this helped. So, conclusion, the 24 is better. Not better, but it's more efficient. The, the, the 36 didn't do anything for me. Not for the 100, and not one for the 150. It just somehow, it, it didn't do the job. Um, so I definitely would stick with the 24. That's how I made my conclusion. Just a simple testing like that. I hope I didn't miss anything.